Yo, what's good, Smash Gang? Today I'm bringing to you guys what I think is one of the best loot farming spots in the game. For my D&D players, you know recently they did an update and they fixed a lot of the loot glitches um, that a lot of us were using to farm, right? So I got something for you guys I think you're really going to like, all right? Billy! You hit the subscribe yet? Like Billy, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. So what you want to do? You want to come to your map and come down to the Goblin's Shard, and the Goblin Tower is where you want to go. You're not gonna do the entire mission. You're gonna skip through. But the Goblin Tower is where you want to go. Once the mission loads up, you want to run through this first area. You can collect your coins and everything and hit the crystals. Because it's another way to farm your gold coins and your resources. So as you'll see, I hit the crystal there. We're going to skip this first wave of, of goblins. We're not going to fight them. We only get worried about the goblins that trigger the save point. Because we can up the rarity of our loot when we get to those save points. And it's going to be two for this particular stage or dungeon. And it's not that long of a dungeon. There's another crystal that I'm going to go get. Got a little explodey thing up there. It would let to a chest at the top, but I just skipped it for, for this video's purposes. But you'll see later on in some other footage that I do go up there and get it. And get the gold out of it. So here we reach our first point where we do want to fight. And you can run this solo or in a group, guys. It works. Of course, it works better in a group and it's more quicker, but it's definitely doable solo. Not to say you're not going to run into any challenges now, but you will. But it's very doable. A little patience and maneuverability, and you got it. All right. You know, your boy fell down the first time, but we'll be back. All right, here we go. Alright, and I'm doing this with Caddy Bree, but you'll also see some footage with Bruno the Battle Hammer, because that's who I uh, started the game with, actually. So we're going to clear this room, this area. And with Caddy Bree, it's, it's almost effortless, because we can hit with, the, with our heavy attack. All right, guys, and as you see, we got the short rest spot popped up. So on this one, I don't believe I even triggered it. It just automatically went to loot rarity and they upped it. So you see, I'm collecting the coin, the gold. And there you go. Our loot rarity bonus has been increased. So now we're gonna move on to the next area. So this is a good this is a good dungeon to farm the gold as well as your epic and legendary uh, pieces. The goblins have built on top of treasure. And the rate is pretty high. On every run, I at least got at least one epic. If not two in certain situations, I didn't get a legendary each time, but um, I at least got one. If I ran it like five, six times, I at least got a legendary three or four out of those five times. And in all five of them, I, I did get an epic. As you'll see later on in the footage, I will um, provide you guys with some footage for Bruder because I, I did some farming with him as well. For the video sake, just to show y'all, and I ran it with uh with another with a random actually, but shout out to the guys that that showed me this man. One day I was farming, and I just jumped in a random lobby, and these guys were farming, and they they showed me the way, <laughs> and I've been using it ever since to get some to get some uh, higher gear. So it's very doable. Of course, I'll be doing this on 
on uh, challenge six, which is gonna guarantee us ranks four and five of epic to legendary loot, as well as the other ranks too, uh, common, rare, but the epics and the legendary legendaries are the only ones we're worried about. But yeah, so we're on the second, the second spot for the rest area. So we're gonna clear these goblins out, the ogre. He's out of there. And we're just gonna speed through this part a little bit. So now we got the second increased loot rarity rest spot. So now we're gonna proceed on. I'm gonna just get that barrel out the way, just because. But now we're gonna um continue forward. We're gonna now we got our two, so we're just gonna run straight through, collect our gold, get our crystals, and we're gonna head to the boss fight. And so far, we're probably only like a few minutes in, guys. And just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So this spot right here is right before the boss triggers. There's a crystal, um, some shards over here. So we're going to pop that. I think there's some coins over there to the left, but we're not worried about it right now. And there's some right there, but I'm going to just skip it this time. But you'll see me scoop them up on some other runs. All right, we're going to get the, the crystal shards right here. And now we're about to trigger the boss fight. So for the boss fight, you want to go after the named goblins. So each corner, you're going to go to the, you're going to go to each corner and you'll fight, you'll fight a named goblin. And as you take them down, it's going to break the barrier of this guy right here in the middle. So we go to the first corner, and we on it. Bow, bow. All right, so first one out of there. We will get these little goblins out of there too. That they could be a nuisance later on. No more juice in this one. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You're gonna run around each corner, take out the named goblins. And after that, you're going to fight the boss. You want to be careful with the boss because on rank six, he has a couple couple abilities that can that can that can one tap you. When he throws that fireball at you, you better haul ass. Do not get caught by the fireball. And he has these ice crystals that he throw at you kind of quick in quick succession. If you get caught with that first one, you better get ready to move because that second one's not too far behind. But yeah, guys, so as you see at the end of this run, I will get a legendary on this one. Um, the other videos, you'll see some more farming with Caddy Bree as well as Bruno. Um, Bruno, I did with a random. So we did it in a two man group and we did that a good three, four times. And I think one, maybe one time we didn't get a legendary. Maybe one or two times for Bruno. And then I came back with Caddy Bree just to show that, uh, you know, to, just to farm with her as well with, with the guy I was playing with. Um, so you'll see that footage as well. Appreciate you guys. Smash gang. Love y'all. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe. Catch y'all later. We out.